Here in middle Georgia, school systems are considering a change from the traditional school calendar. In an effort to save money, schools in Wilcox and Peach counties are only open four days a week. 41 NBC Shelby Coates takes a look at how the modified calendar is working. So what, what should that have been two times what? Peach County students like Wyatt Robinson are in the classroom Tuesday through Friday. Well, I get to sleep in on Mondays. At Fort Valley Middle School, students seem to like the shorter week with longer days. It's fine the way it is. And so do the teachers. They come down the hall smiling like they're ready to go. So uh, there is a big difference. I can say I don't have to tell as many to sit up or uh, you're not paying attention. According to school superintendent Dr. Susan Clark, funding forced Peach County to adopt the non-traditional school calendar. July 2009, the governor asked school systems to cut 3% of their budgets, and Peach County had to eliminate $720,000. We could either go to a four-day week or we could dismiss 39 teachers. Now with schools closed on Mondays, money is being saved. Where many other school districts are still furloughing teachers, the four-day week is enabling us to continue to pay our teachers 190 days. And newly released numbers show the modified calendar hasn't affected the quality of education. Our graduation rate went from 74% to 79.6%. Also, school principals say they're seeing an increase in student attendance and a decrease in behavior referrals. When they're here, they can focus. And from 7.30 in the morning till 4 o'clock in the afternoon, it's all business. At the same time, Peach County says the state's financial future will force schools to keep a four-day work week. According to Dr. Clark, recent state budget adjustments are not enough to properly fund local education. Education is a political football in our state, and I don't like to play games with our students. They mean too much to us. And while the state battles on with the budget, districts like this one will continue to look for new ways to save money and protect classroom learning. In Peach County, Shelby Coates, 41 NBC News. Nearby, Taylor County also has a unique calendar. After trying year-round school, the system now has a traditional calendar with a fall break. The school superintendent says the break allows students to refresh and come back to school ready to learn.